So Tim Mentone well represented here. And it will be Alberston that goes to the front of that group. So something in those mid 355, maybe 355 might be a target time for these boys. What do you reckon that first lap they'll be looking for, Tim, based on that? I reckon they, they, I wouldn't be surprised they get close to the 60. It depends on wh how Alberson takes this out. 62 p potentially is where they'll go. So it looks like the Glen Huntley colours are also up there. And that would we've be had Matthew a fall, Goss. Tim. We've lost, we've lost Finn Russell at the night. No, wasn't Finn Russell? I apologise. Yeah, James Laven, out of that. Jacob Bell. Yep. So it looks like Bell and La uh, Laven's trying to get back on. Bell is nearly there. Alberson still. And I wouldn't be surprised if James does get himself back. He's got a big, big, big heart. Yeah. It was definitely a big tumble, though, Tim. It was the full 360. Full forward roll. They have slowed a little bit, Tim. I'll give you a, a, a marker here to tell me as they go through 400, which is in right now. 63. So they're sitting just under the four-minute mark. 64s will get them there. So they're on four pace, but we want them to go a bit quicker. And Laven is back on. How good is that? So James Laven, I think that slower pace just allows him to get back in. A little bit of adrenaline surging through the body now. As we see, it is still Alberson, and I think Goff might be out there. Matthews just tucked in on the rails. Uh, Johnny Port with the long flowing locks just to the outside in the Doncaster colours. Baisha working nicely through the midfield. Also Dubois-Son. Xavier Johnson's one. I'm going to be watching too. Very smart racer, and Jacob Bell goes wide. Tim, down the front straight, Matthew Goff piling it. A little bit slower than we would have liked. I imagine it's going to be a pretty aggressive sit and kick, I reckon, from here with two laps remaining. So Matthew Goff leads them through to the Doncaster athlete, as you mentioned there, second in John Portwood with the flowing locks. Behind them also Baisha from Scotch. Johnson makes the move, though. I was waiting for that one. He's looking very steady as they go through 208. So Goff's lead, doing a good job out front. Baisha now wants to go, and he'll go past Portwood, and it's Xavier Johnson in next position. So Pat, Patty Matthews leads the next of the chasers, and our two Mentone athletes, Alberston, obviously our early leader, and obviously also Sam Bunnage also latching on. So Goff, though, puts a little bit of a gap here on Baisha. And the one you called correctly from Mentone, making a good move, Xavier Johnson. So Johnson looks the most relaxed of that lead group at the moment. Paddy Matthews fighting on really hard there. And tucked in behind them is another of those Mentone athletes. But it's a, it's a pack now of five with a lap to go as they come past you, Tim. Yeah, and Dubuisson also looking good and could get up there. Also, Carroll's not one to be ruled out. But Goff probably just slowing the pace a bit. And Johnson's getting a little bit eager. And I think he should take the lead. So on the bell... Uh, probably oh, about 258 potentially. So uh, it's going to be a beautiful kick down. Baish is one to watch as well. And we've got the other of the Mentone runners. Gee, there's a real train of them out there at the moment. And it is Johnson leading the way. So three, 300 remaining. Johnson makes the move. But as I said, Keelaw St. Bernard's, it's the man there in Paddy Matthews. Paddy Matthews, he's a gutsy runner and he's going to hit the front with 200 remaining. Has he gone too early? We'll find out very shortly. But he's gone out very aggressive with his Sam Bunnage now making a move on the outside. So the two Mentone boys, 1-2 now. So Bunnage, Johnson, Matthews next. Baisha looks like he's not going to be able to split that first three. Sam Bunnage, though, looks he's going to hit another personal best tonight. He's in really good form this season. He's had a stable change. And right tonight, he's going to come through with a low 355, as we imagined. Johnson second, Matthews, then. Goff, Baisha. Actually, Laven came through quite nice, and I think he'll score a PB out of that too. Not bad for a big fall. He lost about 15 metres in that fall. So as you said, he's got a big heart, and he did it very well there after the big stumble early, Tim. Yeah, so some good running there. Probably not the pace we expected, but a nice race, and Bunnage took that out beautifully. Uh, Johnson, once again, big talent and certainly one to watch.